What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video of Heyday. Now this here is the video. This is the one you've been waiting for for so long and it's finally here. That's right, the creation of my hood and the rules to it. And so this is going to be the one that many, many of you have been waiting for for a long time. Now looking at my screen right now, you'll be like, what in the world? You're level 49, you're level, you got 1.8 million coins. And yes, this here is technically like a, a live video, not like live live, but as in it's not really pre-recorded. It's, it's going to be released the day after I record it. I'm going to continue. And so this is just going to be an extra bonus one. I'm going to try it for a few weeks. And so I am just going to, sorry, while I'm talking, I just can't move around. But yeah, I'm going to try and do a video each for a bonus video. So there'll be three videos for the next approximately four weeks at least. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, this one here, I'm, pre I'm going to be releasing it the day after I record it. So this is why my progress is so high because I've still got a ton of pre-recorded videos which I'll still continue to release on a uh, weekly basis too per video. And they're still going to be really interesting all my other videos. Just as interesting, I've got all those in information in them. But yeah, you're going to have to, uh, yeah, so then to, to, you'll end, you can still watch them of course, but this one here is just a live one because... I am going to, and it's not like live live, not like streaming live, but as in live, as in like I've just recorded it like the day before. So it's very recent, and so it's going to be, so you haven't missed anything. It's not like, whoa, this super site has had it going for months. No, this here is just today. And it, yeah, I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is it won't be joinable as of today. And technically those of you who are watching the video late, later than like quite late after it comes out, you'll be like, phew, because otherwise you would have missed it because it will probably fill up pretty quickly. But we'll see. Anyway, so we have our barn and our silo, uh, much more upgraded since last time, huge amounts more upgraded since last time. And so, well, well, there we go. So it will, lots of changes since last time. In fact, I'm not going to spend that much time. I, I'm, I'm aiming for the 2 million coins. I just released a video just the other day. I think was it, no, my second latest video, or maybe it was even my latest, no, second, a week ago, I released a video approximately a week ago about reaching 1 million coins, you'll be like, whoa, you're almost at 2 million coins, and yes, I am, I'm almost, and so my, my silo, 1,400, my barn, 1,300, probably have a ton more masteries on all the different buildings, we've then got, yeah, a lot more coins, a lot more stuff unlocked, and yeah, it's just my, my farm's a bit more changed, anyway, right, so... And we'll send off the boat like so. Now, I'm just thinking the order in which I do things because there's a lot to do. Okay, so, oh, and then there's all these. Are these are these all revivable ones or not? Yeah, they are all revivable ones. So they'll give us a few coins in there. A lot of coins, in fact. Right, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to come through here. We'll just get this here, the fields back in action. That is one of the most important things you can do. Right, so fields back in action. So, because, yeah, we'll just do this one here. And so most of you, yeah, will be like, whoa, so you have to listen carefully as to what to, yeah, okay, so anyway, right, so we'll just do this here and this here, so I've been very excited to make my hood, I've been, like, busy for a very long time, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have won my channel, I wouldn't have had time to, like, like, I could have made the hood, but I couldn't, I could hardly even talk to you, and even now, it, I still won't be able to talk to you that much, but there will be a hood where Super Sight fans can assemble one. Right, now, I'm just gonna leave this hood here, which is a lovely hood, so I will say, I, this way, it's been an amazing hood, well, I haven't, I've only been in it, like, a couple of days, but it is a nice hood. For all the hoods I go to, this one is a nice one. So I'm just going to chat in here. I'm going to say thank you. Oh, right. That failed spelling wise. Right. That really failed. Right. Thank you for having me. Right. There we go. Exclamation mark. It, this is a lovely, lovely hood. Yes. Lovely hood. I am now, I am now going to create, create, there we go. My own hood. Right, there we go, like that, and then the, I am giving your hood a shout out, and the video of it will be released tomorrow. There we go, thanks again, cool, okay, that was thanks again, right, there we go. You, you, you gig right in. Okay, so cool. There we go, co-leader and so lovely hood. It's called Helping Hands. There's the tag right there. We are now going to leave. Okay, so we have left the hood now. Right, okay, so now for the moment of trying. I forgot, I forgot to because I've worked out what thing. Uh, anyway, we'll go to here and this one here because this is what I was going to focus on and I forgot exactly what I was going to call it. Right, that's awkward. Right, so because if we go to this, 
I think, I think, I'm just gonna just double check. So, Supersite, right, Supersite YouTube, exclamation mark. There we go. Was it a space there? I think it was a space there. And then, right, oh yeah, there's heaps of space there. So, Supersite YouTube, so Supersite space YouTube, and then this thing here, right, there we go that thing, and then this one is going to be number number one, yeah, we're, we're just going to go like that, and then, because I am going to have feeders, I am going to have feeders, because there's going to be more than 30 people that want to be in the hood, which is awesome, but it's sad that we can't all be in one big hood, but that's just how it goes, okay, so Superzite YouTube, number one, right, and then we'll change this, right, so this one here is going to be right now, and see, this is what I forgot, but I will be able to change it, luckily, the name is a very important thing, right, so there we go, we were, what one, there, we, this one here, and then it was the shield one I decided on, and then was it checkered, or was it that thing, I think it was checkered that I decided on, and then one of them was green, I think it was green, and then blue, or was it the other way around, right, or the, I'll just do it the other way and see which one looks better, so that one, that one green, and then this one blue, Right, I think I think it was this one. No, I'm just trying to remember. Yes, it was this one. Yes, it was this color here. So there we go. We're going to go with this one here. Now, I, I might change it, but we'll do that for uh, anyway. Right, so now the minimum level to join you are going to have to be level 18, because that's the in-game thing, and I'm just going to have it on that so anyone can join up to then. But I am going to put it on invite only because I won't be opening it until November 2017, and I'm going to next... No, and... Within the next three, uh, wait, no, within the next four weeks, so within the next, no, it will be within the next three weeks. Within the next three weeks, I will release the date in which I will change it to anyone can join. Right, so there we go, and descript we won't do a description yet, so we'll just go ahead and create it. There we go, and we have it, and there we go, we have a tag, which I don't like, because it's got an O in it. Now, I know O and, O, the letter O and zero can be used in, 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 into exchangeably. No, that's not how you say it. Anyway, we will write. Dang it, we have to wait four minutes and forty-four seconds. Okay. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Wheel of Awesome, absolutely right. We'll just check this. Have we got this? We we got Tom right there. Activate Tom. Boomtown. Let's go, Tom. Let's go get some diamond rings. Right. Where are those diamond rings? Diamond rings. There we go. Start your search. Okay, that's cool. And then you'll come back, and then I'll get the one with nine. What a prediction. Okay. There we go. And we'll spin the Wheel of Awesome, and then I'm going to go into the details about the rules, and then we'll create the. Uh, interchangeably, there we go, interchangeably, that is the word that I was, yay, we got a thing, what, the tar thing, awesome, at least we got something, right, so interchangeably, that they can be used, but I will be creating another hood when it, when I can't, right, oh, it's still got the same name, and then, but we can't, oh, wait, no, is that maybe join another hood, surely, if you're just joining and leaving, that wouldn't matter, right, okay, then I forgot this again, yeah, no, that was blue, no, that was, that was blue, that was green, right, there we go, and then we change it to this one here, Right, that one, right there, there we go, and then this one here, that one, and then checkered, there we go, okay, so that there, done, and then Super Saiyan YouTube 1, create, there we go, okay, we got it, we got it, and, is serious, another, oh, come on, don't waste all my coins, right, you have to wait, right, to be able to join one, but that's okay, because we're not joining one, right, that's so annoying, okay, so we might as well just create it, and then change it, shall we, okay, let's just create it, there we go, and we have, yeah, there we go, that one's fine, that one's, yeah, 9-Q-U-C-V-P-P-R, okay, it's just like, because this is the one that we'll have, like, for a ver forever, this is going to be the, the tag forever, so, 9 q U C V P P R. I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so there we go, and then we'll change this to. I always forget. Anyway, we'll just we'll get the right symbol first, so then I'll know. Right. Okay. So there we go. Symbol. That one there. Yes. And then this one here. That shape. And then blue. And then that one there. And sweet. We've got it done. Super site YouTube. Right number one. Better che check that I've spelt it right after my spelling mistake with the main my most popular video, the mine video. I messed that up. Anyway, we've got that. There we go. And so there we go. Invite on. Only preferred language is English, and then we'll just go, and then that there doesn't really matter yet. We'll just do this. Now, I will, I, I'm not going to be competing in the derby. I'll be in the derby, but I'm not going to complete any tasks because I don't want to move up the leagues because I want us to all start on the same league. But I am going to be doing my next video coming out in a week from this video will be on the derby. I'm 99% sure about that, so I will be doing one on the derby. There we go, in description, we won't fill that out at the moment, or should we, right, or maybe maybe we'll just, home of Supersite, Supersite YouTube, and the most awesome players in heyday. So that's it. Right, uh, not enough room, but that would have been that would have been you, like all you you viewers, all the people that joined, that would make it the most awesome players. But we'll just go, we'll just 
right home of supersite supersite youtube there we go we'll just we'll just do that for now we, we probably might change it a little bit but there we go safe right because i want people to be able to find me more Okay, so we got Superstar HD YouTube, we got that there, there's Tom back with this, right, and 9, would you guess it, okay, so we'll go and forget that one right there, and so we've got that there, we've got the Epic Hood with the tag, so that they're 9 Q U C V P P R. so invite only, in fact, I'll change it to close, because I don't want to be having to, like, just reject everyone, oh wait, invite only, request to join, no, invite only is fine, yep, okay, so there we go, now for the rules, right, okay, so, oh, and another thing, another thing I might mention is the sneak peeks. Now these are epic. I just saw this one here. I'm like, yes, this is the equivalent of the Clash of Clans or the Clash Royale group mess. Well, they don't call it group message. They just go cl clan message. Yeah. Anyway, this one here looks absolutely awesome, and it will be. I'm I'm guessing this speculation just from what I see, but it, it looks pretty obvious. And it's group message, so you can send it out as a leader or probably co-leader, and everyone receives it. So that's good because otherwise you have to like put a message in the chat and then tell no one to chat. Otherwise it will go away or else change the description. That's just really inconvenient. So this will be awesome. I'm looking forward to that one there. This one here looks like another another machine which looks lovely with all those flowers they look like they've got lavender and indigo wait yeah that one that one on the right looks very common lavender wait not lavender indigo in new zealand we call it lavender anyway indigo wheat and cotton that looks fine the middle one looks cotton then the one on the left looks indigo but there might be two more two more epic different flowers you can grow flowers maybe that would be awesome anyway i'm very looking forward to those sneak peeks right so with the rules okay so how are we going to go for this is so i uh, sorry I, I can't move it too much because i'm just thinking of the rules right and i have got a list here it's it's like a 10 page essay on the rule no i'm just kidding i've tried to keep it as simple as as possible but within reason now first and foremost in order to be in my Hood, I'm gonna call it hood. I might say clan sometimes. I just, you know, because anyway, right. So, first of all, right, I'm just looking where, anyway, the you, if in order to be in it, you have to, you can't violate any of Supercell's rules. So, all of Supercell's terms and conditions, terms of service, all that, that absolutely 100% applies to being in it. If you're not gonna follow them, well, you're probably gonna get banned, but you're not allowed in, uh, well, my hood either. Right now, another thing is G rated, right? So, all the chat is gonna be G rated. There's gonna be like no Swearing, no offensive language, or no being nasty or rude to each other. It's going to be a nice, friendly community. And so, and if, if you're a person that like swears all the time, then this hood probably isn't, well, isn't the best for you. Just isn't. It's not probably, it just isn't. Because if you, yeah. No, it's G-rated because we're we're gonna have kids. We're in the hood. We we want it to be a nice, friendly environment that everyone enjoys. Right, and then another one. Right, okay. So sorry, this is is going to be like. Anyway, is no sniping, no sniping other hood members tr uh, trades, and they don't even have to be trading with each other. If they're trading with someone else, no, well, they'll probably be doing it with the hood, but you're not allowed to snipe it. So what I mean by sniping is if this person, let's say Bob go, uh, says to Jim, let's do a trade, and then it Tim says, uh, and then when they're doing the trade, Tim comes in and quickly buys the thing off them because they've said that they're going to be doing the trade, then Tim... Uh, will get probably I might some of these ones I might give a warning some of them it will just be instant kick right but so I'm not I'm not sure and I'm not saying which ones but yeah you ca you can't snipe you can't snipe other people hood members things if you do that you you will be kicked like you'll have the probably the option to, to give it back and they'd just be warned but anyway regardless of the warnings these are the rules so no sniping other hood members traits now another one is don't use the report button ever at all right so as even if someone has done something wrong and they should be reported. If you do this, this will anger them, and we don't want this happening because then there'll probably be a bit of massive argument. They'll start swearing. It will get really nasty. If someone does something wrong, breaks one of the rules, just tell a co-leader or leader. And as I said, there's feeders, so the leader might not be me, but with the feeders, I will be stopping by. So yeah, that is one of the things. So just don't, yeah, don't don't use ever. I don't ever want to see it used whatsoever. Okay, so no using that. That just is not on. Because it just it will just cause problems using the report button at all. So that so this year some of these rules you might be thinking what what kind of rule is that? But all of my rules do have reasons. And the main thing is if you start using report buttons, people get angry and annoyed, and we do not want that happening. Now another one is and yeah another one is don't leave during the derby, right? So 
you you're welcome to let like you you'll be like oh well if I leave then you can't you can't kick me out in that yeah but you might not be allowed back in like there will be exceptions you you can ask permission to leave in the derby like providing you join back in that but we don't just want people just leaving and joining, leaving and joining in the middle of the derby when we're, you know, we're trying to, you know, especially near the end, even near the start, we just, we want everyone to be there for the derby. So there's the time when the derby finishes or before for the derby, you're welcome to leave, but don't leave during the derby because then you you probably have unfinished tasks and us hood members can't help you and then you might not join back and stuff like that can happen. We don't want that happening. So it, it might not be an instant kick if you leave and then come back, but it just, that yeah, just please stay in the hood during the derby you know maybe you want to go away for like a, an hour and do a trade with someone just please ask permission from a co-leader or leader because we want to we want to keep everyone during there during the derby in the weekends if you decide to leave or whatever that's totally fine but during the the week the derby when it's serious please don't leave okay another one is kicking is only for the leader to do so only the leaders of those hoods can kick, right? So now there are exceptions in the case of, right, oh yes, we can get these going. Uh, in the case of, right, okay, oh yeah, and then we can do the personal train as well, freeing us up lots of space. Now in emergency situations, such as the person is getting abusive and swearing and getting really angry, co-leaders and even elders, I don't know if elders can kick. Anyway, they are allowed to kick. But in all other situations, if they do, if they break another rule, like a, a snipe and that, Wait for the leader, whether that's me or the other, the one of your one, to come back on to do it, okay? So that's just something that is, right, okay, on, would not, and yeah, okay, anyway, we'll upgrade, there we go, and we'll upgrade the other one, so three, two, one, boom, there we go, maintenance time will be decreased, which is awesome, to five hours, and so that's personal training level 11, so now a lot of room in here, which is good. Okay, so yeah, that is another one, so kicking is just for the leader, unless it's an emergency situation. Right, okay, so that is that one there, right, so... You wait that one there, right? Oh, yes, right. Oh, yeah, and ne this here's another one never sell expansion materials, land clearing materials, ma mining materials, swords, axes, or building materials such as like, like what are they called? Screws and planks and all that. Don't sell them to the public, okay? So, always sell within the hood. Right, so always sell within the hood, so two other hood members, don't go out and just sell these things. There's a video called items, uh, like products never to sell I did. Basically, all of the ones on that list are ones that you don't sell. Now, you might be like, oh, but then if I want, I only have to sell them in hood, uh, like the hood, no one will buy them. I can assure you, any of those products that I listed, I will buy. So any, uh, any, and uh, town, town materials are not like compulsory but to like you, you can sell them off that's okay but with things like like all the building upgrading materials like building like the silo and the barn upgrading materials things like the mining things like the pickaxes the the shovels which are also land clearing but the saws the axes and yeah and i'm just looking and so yeah and and stuff like stuff like that maps maps are a bit different as well because they're rare but these ones here and and deeds also don't sell them off sell them within the hood and i can assure you people will buy them for full price absolutely will buy them for full price because we want to get the, the the whole hood upgraded and and to the top as fast as possible we all want to have our barns and silos increased so don't just go go don't go selling them off to the public I'm but like probably if you did we couldn't see it but please just for the help uh, of the neighbors just please sell them to neighbors inside I can assure you they will people will pay full price for them right so that is it and now another thing which I would like to say is right so and then another thing so yeah they are the oh yeah and this this other one which is one that like right I'm just checking that and so I'm just like sorry this this is kind of hard because I'm just trying to think of all the things making sure that I have covered it all right so there you go now this one here might be a bit interesting and might annoy some of you but it, it has a purpose you are only allowed to use the donation feature for the first five products corn wheat carrots soybeans and sugar cane. That, that was out of order. It was wheat first. See this thing here? So you're only allowed to request this one, this one. So those two, that one, and right, the other two, that one, and that one. And so, yeah. 
the main reason is, well, first of all, the other ones give massive excessive XP, but the main thing, and also with these ones here, since the crops, then we can all work together to complete this bottom one, the donation one. So this one here, generous donator, this one here is the one that most players in the game, this is the last one they ever complete, is donate 4,000 items, and, and these ones here, 450 and 60 and that, but the 4,000 item ones is ones people struggle, whereas if we're all doing crops, if we're all doing these crop things in here, like crop ones, like the these ones here, then it's, uh, uh, you'll be able to do it. But the main purpose, so that's not the main purpose, there are two sub reasons. The other ones give excessive XP or the, the thing that it just, it does the, the thing where we get towards the achievement. The main thing is if we have these things here involved, it gets very unfair very quickly. What ends up happening is certain players only ever request what they actually genuinely need, which sometimes is only potatoes. And then you have the players that always request the diamond rings, the saws, the axes, all that kind of stuff. Now, this generally, I hope that most people are nice, like would be doing it, like like doing only requesting what they actually need, but in reality it never happens properly and you have all these players and then you say, well just do a jewelry ban. I, I've seen in hoods jewelry bans in place, but that still doesn't work because then you still have people requesting the next highest item, which can be very expensive. Like I'm not sure like for like ten of ten apple jams or ten cherry popsicles, it's like three thousand coins or something. And if someone's doing something for three thousand coins and then if someone does something worth ten coins you, the tr the coins are transferring rapidly, and it gets really, really unfair really quickly because certain certain players just exploit. I'm hoping players wouldn't, but it just happens. You have people requesting these really expensive items, people donating them, and then the people that actually like they only request what they ever need and hope other people will do the same, but they don't. So then they end up getting just like ten corn when they need it, whereas other players end up like requesting. Like, they they end up, like, getting, like, having to give away, like, thousands of coins worth of stuff. And I, do, I don't want that happening. So, yeah, I was originally going to do it just, you could only request wheat. That was going to be it. Because the, the crop things help us complete the, the achievement thing quicker. These ones here, slightly, it doesn't, but that's not the main purpose. The thing is, it, it gets really unfair. And even, even within crops, like this here, the maximum that sells for, like, 10 of those are worth, like, is it 600 and something coins? Whereas 10 of these is worth 72 coins. So if someone requests corn, someone requests these, they donate to each other. Someone's just lost 600 coins. You know, and so it gets really, and that's every eight hours. So, you know, then you go 600 plus 600 plus 600, that's 1,800 a day. And then we times that by seven to get a week. That's about 12,000. And then, you know, we, we do it over a year. And, you know, it starts to really, really go, like, get really unfair really fast. And, you know, that's just a crop one. Imagine if we have stuff like this enabled. You know, if people are requesting uh, five blackberry jams and someone's requesting 10 wheat or corn. It's extremely unfair and people exploit the system. So, since, and, and so I was just going to originally do everyone does wheat, but since I know that these items here, these five here, these four ones are also needed sometimes as well, like you run out of soybeans or carrots or corn or sugar cane, sometimes you run out of them. I am making them part of the option in order to trade, and so the maximum disparency is, isn't much. So the maximum that could be lost is if someone did the sugar cane for 144 and someone did the wheat, which is worth one coin. So the maximum people can be ripped off is 143 coins, which isn't that much. Like, it's still a little bit, but overall, in a day, you know, that's not even that's not even 500 coins. So it's not massive if it's just those five products. And I know these ones, some people often run out of these ones, hence I thought I'd expand it at the suggestion of Noah, who was an old member, and uh, like, and when it, there was just two of us in the hood, that person suggested it, and so I've decided that I will expand it to be allowed to request these five only. Only. There are no exceptions. No exceptions. If you need another product, you simply ask for it in the chat, and people will happily sell it to you for full price. So they'll happily sell it, and so you're still going to get it. But I'm not going to allow any other product except for those those five. So there's not going to be massive coins exchanging. It will be fairly fair. And so it's just these ones. So the main purpose of this is not to really particularly get what you want. The main thing is to get that donation thing up really high, as well as occasionally you'll be able to get 10 of these if you're 10 short of them. But apart from that, the, the, this thing is we're not going to allow it to be used to get massive people exploited and losing thousands of coins per week. 
week just because they're allowed to request these really high items and other players just do genuinely do it. So there, there, there are no exceptions. I've made it the final. It's just these five products right here. That's all you can request and all that you'll be able to donate. So that that is uh, something that some of you may disagree on, but it's to do with fairness and people not being exploited. So that is one of the other things which I have decided on. So yeah, they are all the rules. That's all the rules. Now they are subject to change. I am go like uh, that's the annoying thing about rules. There'll be always someone that will find something else they haven't thought of, and then it'll be like, wait, that was yeah, that's just me. Oh right, so someone, someone, oh uh, right, oh they changed the settings. That's right, me. Okay, so yeah, of course there's going to be someone that's going to do something, and then it's going to be like, oh, but that wasn't a rule. You know, it's just like, just please, just you know, it's common sense most of these things. You know, but some of them I just like obviously some of those things like the five policy thing. I, I, that's not common sense, that's a rule that I'm, I'm making up that you wouldn't just naturally think of, but yeah, these things are different things that I can, I think of and I've decided that will most make the, make the most fair hood and the most active productive hood. So these are the things that I've decided on and so these will be the, the different rules of it and so you're welcome to check back the video at any time. Now if someone, I guess if someone breaks the rule for the first time, I'll say make sure you be, like probably some of these rules if you break for the first time, I'll just, I'll just tell them to go, obviously you, won't be breaking the rules, but other hood members, if they do, I'll point them to this video so they can see the rules for themselves and not break them again. And so then I'll tell them to go watch it, and then if they break it again, I'll be like, did you watch a video? If they said yes, then it will be like, well, you're still getting kicked because you should have known by now. If they said no, I'm like, well, you should have known the rules. I told you to go see them. Because, yeah, it's, it's basically, you know, it, it sounds scary, you know, all these rules and that. But basically, for most of you, you'll be no doing nothing different. These are just simple rules that most hoods have. The donation one will be slightly different. But a a apart from that, there's nothing really out there, uh, like, out there rules. The donation one's just slightly different for purposes of fairness. Now, f three rules that are, these rules are not like compulsory but these here are just suggestions which I recommend but this will not get you kicked this is it doesn't matter if you do anything if you do these or not but these are what I, I would suggest would make it fairer uh, so when trading building materials such as these right here please trade one for one so like one like 10 planks for 10 bolts 10 like whatever those things yeah those things there especially please trade them one for one like across each other but don't for example like you can, but I think it's very unfair if you say, oh, can, and, and I, most players will probably, because they're in my hoods and they will have watched my videos, know what's fair and what's not fair. But don't just start an offer by, can I uh, have 20 screws for one panel? You know, that, that's just silly. That's just not on. That's just really unfair. Yet, there are some situations. If, for example, you had way too many. For example, I might be willing to trade 20 nails for, for 10 screws. But that's me because I have extra and I'm offering more. Now, that's, I'm still always going to stick to my offer of 10 for 10, because the, the more trading partners you have, the, the, the less it, it matters, like, you just stick to that. Now, it's not a definite rule, but just for the fairness and looking out for the other SuperSite members, please, like, the members in the SuperSite hoods, please do just do the one-for-one one trades. Same with these things here, like, te, like 10 for 10, one-for-one, one, just, you can't, it, it's not compulsory, but that's just something that it would be good to see. Right, and then another one is always sell products to uh, at full price to each other. So what I mean by this is that always everything you sell except for wheat, of course, sell for full price. Now this is just a, just a general thing in general because you want to get the most coins, but this is specifically when trading. When you're trading, always have all your things at full price. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. If someone, not necessarily a hood member, but someone else snipes your item and you had it at default price or low price, you lose a lot of coins. Whereas if you have it at full price, then it doesn't matter because you still got your full value for it. So that's one reason. And the other reason is, often what I see is if, for example, someone's trading 10 planks for, uh, let's say, 10. And by the way, the, the expansion materials and like the these kind of materials can be traded at different rates. Totally fine because they are different things. But with the barn and silo materials and these things. But yeah, for example, if you're trading, for example, 10 deeds for 10 planks, the person, if you do the default price, for, okay, let's actually do it right here. Okay, so we'll come over here. So 10, uh, 10 wooden panels, 750, right? So that's the default price. For these here, 1,100, uh, one, it's running. Right, so we'll just say that's approximately 1,000. And this, uh, right, so yeah, let's just... Right, so that let's say that's just seven hundred, and that's one thousand. Well, no, let's because we're rounding them up. So this one's eight hundred. This one's one thousand one hundred. Right. So the difference between that price and this price, 
is, so, so that's 4,000, right, so that's about 3,000 approximate difference, right, so about 3,000 coins difference. This one here, approximate difference, is about 2,000, right, so 2,000 for that, 3,000 for that. Now, if someone is selling all their panels at that, uh, at like that price, and someone's uh, trading with them at selling the land deeds at 10 at that price, the person selling the land deeds or or these these uh, any lem materials is losing out big time because they're losing out three thousand coins per sale, whereas this person's only losing out two thousand per sale. And technically, they're not losing out because the trading, so it doesn't matter. But then it's there's this one thousand difference because this person it misses two thousand dollars on the sale, whereas this person loses three thousand dollars on the sale. So every ten deeds which are sold at the default price in exchange for ten wooden panels, the person selling the deeds will lose ten thousand. I mean, a thousand coins to the player selling the wooden panels every time. They'll lose a thousand coins. So that is why you always sell at full price because the, the you work hard, you work really hard to get these things. So it's not fair that the person just tr keeps transferring a thousand coins every single time. Because that's because I've done trades with some people and they, they want to sell at default price. I'm like, just please sell at full price because first of all, it might get si sniped. And second of all, it's like, and then, for example, like they say, they, they want to be doing trading their things for these things because I'm the one trading these. I'm like, well, that's not really fair on me. And I'm like, well, how about we do it the other way then? And they're happy to do it the other way. But the thing is, it's not, and so obviously they're not just trying to get catch me out. But the fact is they don't understand that you actually, the person selling these for these loses out 10, uh, I mean, a thousand coins every single time they exchange 10. So that is why it's not fair for the person selling these, these like the deeds and that compared to the person selling the panels, because the person selling the panels, if you're trading those two, keeps picking up a thousand coins every single time you trade ten. Hence, it's, it's not fair, because otherwise then, what I could do to players is I could just go up to them and say, okay, let's sell at default price, and how about I sell you panels and you sell me these. And then anyway, I just keep getting a thousand coins. So I don't do that, because that's unfair. But hence, that is why you always want to trade at full price. And so that's what I, I recommend. It's not... It's not compulsory, it's not a, a, an official rule, but I certainly do recommend that because then the trades do get unfair. Unless, of course, you were trading like these for these, it would you wouldn't lose coins with that, but then there's the sniping problem again. Things do get sniped, and if you lose 10 wooden panels that you've saved so desperately for, for 750 coins, then not only do you lose all those coins, but the trading partner then can't get them either because they've been sniped. So that is why you always want to sell for full price so you never lose coins, either, like, the, the do, two ways of losing coins. Right, so that, that are those two suggestion things. Now, another thing which isn't a compulsory also is please let people know if you're selling expensive products. And I, I like, of course, these things here, like, that's a rule. You have to let people know with these kind of things here. But things like, for example, if you're selling 10 diamond rings or bars or certain products like maybe ores or, for example, popcorn or things that are really expensive, please just do a simple message in the chat like, goodies up in my shop is probably the most common one, or I'm just selling off some expensive stuff, or I'm just selling off some refined products, or, I'm just, like, you don't need to tell people every time you sell wheat or corn, you know, people don't want to know that, probably, but with, like, lots of these products, virtually all these products, if you sell any amount of them, people, it, people in the hood would want to buy them, so it's not a rule, but please, just for the courtesy of the other members of the hood, th just tell them, just say that, oh, I'm, oh, these are up for sale, I've just put some stuff in my shop if you want to buy it, so then that the, the, the neighborhood can benefit not just the public because we want to keep all the benefit in the in the neighborhood as much as possible hence the, the certain rules that ha that make the direct the benefit not outwards but keep it all in the hood all the benefit and so just a simple and you i'm sure that you will you will like it you, you will like it if someone else does the same to you and also says in the chat, I'm about to put up, uh, I've just put up, or I'm about to put up some goodies in the shop if you want to come check it out. And then what do you find the 10 scarves you are looking for to do your, your final visit, town visitor request, you know, and it's just, it's just helping others and courtesy. So that is one thing that's not a compulsory rule, but it's just genuinely nice. Now, I know like you might be like, dang, there's so many rules. It's like, it's just like, there's just like rules and rules and rules. You've been talking for like, who knows? I don't even know how long so far, but yeah, but I know it, it sounds complicated, but I was just explaining most of my rules in far more detail, hence it sounds like a lot, but basically the most of them are just really simple common sense rules. The only one I could, would consider to be like slightly out there is, if, is the donation one where you can only do the first five crops, but that is just so that the neighborhood members, no one gets exploited and it's not unfair to anyone, but yeah, otherwise apart from that, 
everything is basically pretty simple. So yeah, they, they are the rules that I have for the hood, and so I am looking forward to having this hood, and it will be lots and lots of fun as we complete derbies together, we get better together. So my next next week's video, because I'm going to have two videos in between, of course, the pre-recorded ones, next week's video is going to be about the derby, which will be exciting, and so I'll be doing the derby hints, so I'll be able to do it together. Now, in regard to who gets in, because there's only 30 spots and everyone wants to get in, I am going to reserve, like, for example... I'm not sure exactly how many, but I'm going to maybe, at, no more than 15, but maybe like 5 to 15 slots will be reserved to the top viewed. Probably, I'm, I'm going to maybe go with 15, and then I will, and so, by the way, yeah, and as I said, I'm not, I'm going to, like, in the next three weeks, I'll release the date in which I'll change the setting from invite only to anyone can join. Or, or I might do it on request, but I'll accept it. I'll probably just go anyone can join. Uh, so anyway, that will be how you will be able to join. Now, I, I'm going to be, as I said, reserving up to 15 slots for my top active players, or uh, top active players, uh, like, hey players on my YouTube channel. Now, when you get to a thousand subs, there's this analytics thing that's unlocked, and it shows you all the most active players on your channel. I think it only shows the ones that have their subscriptions public. And so, anyway, all of those ones there, and I can't see it yet because I'm not at a thousand subs. I'm getting close, very close, and I'm just so excited at how I'm doing now, but I can't wait to get to a thousand. Anyway, when that unlocks then, which will be in the next three weeks, then I'll be able to see the top most active players, and I'll, I'm going to choose up to 15 of them to have reserve slots in the in the hood. Now, I lots of them will like not want to join because they'll be in their own hood, which they think's great. They maybe don't want to be in a hood. They I don't know why you wouldn't want to be in a hood, but yeah, they might be in their own hood. They might not want to join. They might be uh, leader of a hood, or they might not want to join a hood for for a number of reasons. And anyway, then of course those slots I will just I'll just then offer up for any of you to join, and it will be probably, prob we'll see how it goes, but it, it will probably be just first in, first serve. Now, I know, and some of you are going to be like, no, I don't want to miss out on getting in, don't worry, within, uh, I'm going to say, in about a month, I can't, I can't make any promises, but approximately a month after forming my hood, I will then create another hood called Superside YouTube number two. Now, please let me do that. Don't create imposter ones because I'm only going to do a video on the actual one I create, and that's the only one that will actually be, like, actually count and verified because I'm not going to show the, the fake ones on my, my YouTube channel. So, but yeah, I'm going to do Superside YouTube number one, and then... We'll fill it up to 30, and then in a month, I will then create another one called Supersite YouTube number two, which some of you will be able to, which another 30 of you will be able to join. So if you don't get in the first time, don't worry, but I am, yes, yeah, so I am going to be choosing the, the 15 most active players. I'm going to give them an offer, probably, they might not accept, but if they, they're welcome to join and they'll get priority into it. Now, the, the what the activity thing base uh, works on, the YouTube activity thing, is on, like, I think it's like, the one of the main, th I'm not sure, I don't know exactly, but I think, it, it's not on views, because if you just continually refresh, that, that doesn't help. I think it's watch time, which is the main thing. So how much you've been watching my videos. So, uh, this, that you don't have to, of course, but you're welcome to go out and watch my video, watch some of my videos, and then you'll get a bit higher on the ranking, and then if, for example, you're currently 16th most active person on my channel and you watch a couple more videos it might pop you up to 15 you'll get an invite you'll get priority into my hood now of course you don't have to watch it but uh, like watch my videos at all and you can still get in because there'll be at least 15 spots available to get in and then of course I will be creating more hoods so everyone will get in but for my main hood uh, I'm gonna give the the top active players in my channel priority and remember it's not views that gets you that it c increases your YouTube activity it's watch time so the total amount of time that's watched it I'm not hundred percent sure on that but I'm pretty sure so yeah that that is basically it I've got my hood I can't wait and so in November 2017 I will be opening it the date I will be revealing in a couple, well, not in a couple of videos, but the, of the live videos. It will be in about two or three live videos away, in which I will reveal it, and then you will be able to join, and so that will be absolutely awesome. We'll be opening it up, probably fill up to 30 within, like, uh, like within a day, it will be up to 30. And then, and then of course, remember, I will be creating more, so you will be able to join at the feeders, which I will stop by, and I'll visit. And so this is going to be awesome. That You've finally seen it. You've seen the rules to my hood, which you can go back and listen to. I, I, I can even put them in the description if you want. And so then they'll just be simple. And then, yeah, the, the instructions to join, which, uh, so yeah, basically, I'll just be revealing them in the 
in, in a future video within the next four weeks. But yeah, this video here was about creating the hood, the rules of the hood, which you need to know because you need to watch this because otherwise then you wouldn't have known the rules. And then, for example, if someone, for example, makes a mistake and accidentally requests something the, the wrong time the first time, I'll just give them a simple warning. I'm not, I'm not a dictator. I'm not here to just totally stamp you down. I'm just here to, tr I've tried to give it as simple as possible and just have rules that are reasonable that help the hood and lots of them are just common sense, no swearing, keep the G-rated chat, no sniping trades, you know, just real simple things that most of you will be playing by already. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait till you all join. It's going to be absolutely awesome. And remember, this video is going to be only be recorded just yesterday, so it's only one day out, hence my level's quite high comparative to my other videos around it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Superside. Please leave a comment as to what you think and about the, the rules if there's anything I missed out because I, they are subject to change, but I think I probably covered it pretty well with the rules. And so, yeah, and so let me know what you're thinking in the comments and please like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And by the way, with the activity thing, it only works if you've got your subscriptions on public. But anyway, so thank you all so much for watching. This has been Superside. And remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey.